Madam President, uh, I ask to vitiate the quorum call. Without objection. Thank you, Madam President. Madam President, I'm honored to have had my first term in the United States Senate coincide with Dianne Feinstein's time here in the Senate. When I learned this morning that she had passed away, the longest serving woman in the United States Senate, two words came to my mind, patience and kindness. The Bible says that love is patient and kind. Senator Feinstein and I disagreed on policy much of the time, but never regarding patience and kindness. Diane Feinstein was unfailingly kind. She was particularly kind to other women senators. She was the first to invite other women senators to dinner, to lead our gatherings, and to focus our attention on things that are good for all Americans without regard to political ideology. As someone who arrived in the Senate the same week as January 6th, that day set the tone for many of my first months in the U.S. Senate. But that day never set the tone for my relationship with Senator Dianne Feinstein. My conversations with her from beginning to end were unfailingly cordial and kind. Particularly poignant were my observations of the relationship between Senator Feinstein and her colleague from California, Senator Alex Padilla. The conversations I enjoyed with Senator Feinstein and Senator Padilla displayed his admiration and respect for his senior Senate colleague based on a years-long working relationship going back to his internship for her. And his importance to her is on display on the beautiful artwork she created for him. That was a beautiful California duo. I know that Senator Padilla will do her honor in becoming California's senior senator. So I conclude with positive memories of Dianne Feinstein, senator, colleague, and hopefully for both of us, friend. And that's a lovely way to set the tone for political opposites going forward. If patience and kindness is what love is, then that is also what Senator Dianne Feinstein is. Senator Dianne Feinstein, 